Now, hopping into my career. Remember, this is a wish list, not a fix list, not a gameplay wish list, none of that. This is a wish list of the things that I wish was in the game. So, please, 2K, simplify the menus within my career. There's too many menus, too many things going on. It's just a crazy behind move. Now, the reason that I say simplify the menus is because I believe truly in my heart, my career should be a only offline mode. Now, what I mean by this is I don't mean that, oh, you don't earn VC or nothing like that. What I mean is there should not be any online features in my career unless it is a connected careers type of mode unless you're able to be a sixer play up against the kings and i could play up against another youtuber because we are in the same type of my career league connected type of gimmick going on okay but other than that my career should only be played for offline and when you go online that's something different that i'll be talking about in later in this video now the settings in my career should only reflect the mode when you change your camera view in my career it should only reflect in my career what if you're because think about it some people play on certain cameras because they're only controlling one player. But when they go to a 5v5 setting and they have to play and use all these guys, they got to go in, change their camera views because of my career. Please, if whatever setting you change in my career should only reflect the mode. And that goes for all modes. Whatever you choose in that mode should stick to that mode only, man. I'm tired of going into Pro-Am and having to change my camera every single time. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But... Last but not least on my My Career rant, more cutscenes and player interaction. I don't know how much more I can say that, but when it comes to timeouts, sometimes you see like dudes jumping around and stuff like that, shaking hands. But what about those times where you might pull a player to the side and work on y'all, you know, one-two punch or what happens when the 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 uh a fan might you know be like hey what's up you know you shake hands with a fan or you know you take a picture like it just needs to be more interaction because this is your career this is the reason why you're becoming a phenom in the game is because you're putting up points you're getting more fans and you really don't see any interaction from fans at all like you don't never see like me going to the bench and high-fiving a fan that's been at every game all season you know somebody that got season tickets or something like that just give us more player interaction and just let our players do more you know when i hit a jump shot i usually do the freak little shaky shimmy thing or i like fist pump and that's it that's the only real player interaction you get during your cutscenes. nothing else now moving on the 2k sports store you guys came up with an awesome way to purchase things. You can purchase things like Jordans. You can go to Meyer Park, uh, 2K Pro-Am, offline, online, all at home, away, everything. Cool. But what about a closet for all the stuff that we purchase? Because what makes it so bad is when you purchase something, guess what you got to do? You got to go back to the store. You got to go back to that Jordan and remember if you purchased that Jordan. Because sometimes it'll say owned, but you really don't own it because it might have been on a different player. And guess what happens when you hit X? It takes your VC. It's It's been a bug. You know, it's something that did get addressed. But please, if you add a closet with all the stuff I purchased, it will make getting dressed for occasions so much easier, man. Put all of my headbands and earrings and all that accessories together. Put all my shoes together. Put all my tops together. Put all my bottoms together. It would just make things so much easier if you just added a closet. Not not like somewhat like GTA, but more of a, okay, this is the list of the stuff you got. Tops, bottoms, all that. And you can just go down the list and start clicking on stuff, adding it. Like, just imagine if I got Sixers, Jazz, New York, Golden State, Miami Heat, Cavaliers, my player jerseys, and I purchased them. When I go to my park and somebody say, yo, we about to wear this, and I be like, oh, man, um, I'm using my other my player but like if i if i press x like is it gonna go on they be like yeah 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 it's gonna go on and as soon as i press it, i lose 5000 bc bruh like come on come on come on come on come on 2k please help a brother out 
and a closet man if you guys enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up and share this with the devs with ronnie 2k ld2k and make sure you follow me on social media at ipod king carter for everything besides snapchat if you want to see me up on snapchat add me team ikc but this is your boy ikc signing out man i'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one peace some dudes win a few dudes lose nobody want to be a fan anymore niggas get too cool get it jump in the books like the blues clues do can't pay my bills with all these youtube views i'm trying to make a difference niggas savage like there ain't no jail you killed her son she know who did it think she ain't gonna tell and that's murder so there ain't no bail so you stuck until